This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown features Tamiya's R35, Italeri's Super Hornet, Kitty Hawk's Dolphin, Academy's Santa Fe, and Zvezda's Boomerang. New product rundown brought to you by HobbyZone USA, your source for hobby storage solutions, hard to find hobby tools, and aftermarket modeling needs. Welcome to Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown, the video series detailing the latest kits. I'm Elizabeth Nash. I'm Aaron Skinner. Our first kit this time is the latest of Tamiya's French tanks, a 135th scale Renault R35. This French light tank was designed in the 1930s for infantry support and hundreds were in service when Germany invaded France in 1940. This is a small vehicle and the finished model will be a little more than four inches long. The hull builds from a belly plate with panel lines and rivets, sides with suspension attachment points, and a rear plate with engine hatches and nicely rendered cast texture. That texture is carried over to the glasses and upper hull, which feature crisp engine louvers and a turret ring. Added sections account for the undercuts of the cast upper hull. The separate fenders have fine edges. Tools, muffler, exhaust, and tow cable detail the hull. The kit represents a suspension with two-part bogies incorporating the rubber springs that sandwich the sharply molded road wheels. Equally good looking are the drive sprockets, and idlers with separate rims. Lincoln length tracks with molded sag finish the running gear. The diminutive turret features cast texture as well as several openings, including the two-part commander's hatch that can be posed open, panels for vision slits, the rotating cupola, and the mantlet for the 37mm main gun and coaxial machine gun, which feature separate muzzles. If you pose the commander's hatch open, you can add a figure seated on it. Decals and color diagrams give markings for two R35s from June 1940. Both wear multicolor camo with thin black lines surrounding the color sections. This looks like another easy to build replica of an important vehicle which we've only seen a couple of times in 135th scale plastic from Heller and Hobby Boss. The following segment is sponsored by Model Rectifier Corporation, distributors of Academy and Italeri model kits. From Italeri, here's a 148th scale FA18E. This is the latest version of the company's Super Hornet, versions of which have been around for several years with many improvements along the way. Most of the fuselage is divided into upper and lower halves. The upper half includes the opening for the cockpit, some vents, and restrained recessed panel lines and rivets. The lower rear fuselage incorporates parts of the wings, the complete horizontal stabilizers, and detailed gear bays. Separate side pieces provide the shapes of the intakes and sandwich short intake trunks that end with the engine front fans. The nose is molded in left and right halves with more fine recessed surface detail and a separate one-piece nose cone. The cockpit includes a tub, ejection seat, and controls an instrument panel. Decals take care of the panel and console details. The remainder of the airframe, including the underside of the leading edge extensions, one-piece vertical stabilizers, and the wings all have recessed surface detail, including control surface hinges. The latter includes the underside of the wing outboard sections. The control surfaces are fixed, but the flap actuators are separate. The engine exhausts have one-piece nozzles with nice pedal detail outside and jet pipes with afterburner flame holders molded on. To go with the detail molded into the wheel bays, the kit has sharp nose and main gear legs as well as wheels and hubs. Stores for the pylons include AIM 9L Sidewinders, AIM 120 AMRAM, AGM 88 Harms, GBU 12s, and AGM 84A Harpoons as well as a centerline fuel tank. The canopy can be posed open or closed, as can the boarding ladder. The large colorful decal sheet provides stencils and markings for three U.S. Navy Super Hornets, including a CAG bird from VFA-137 Kestrels at NAS Lemoore in 2016, another CAG aircraft from VFA-195 Dambusters at MCAS Iwakuni in May 2016, and a member of the VFA-14 Top Hatters at RAF Lossiemouth in 2006. All in all, this looks like a straightforward kit of the mainstay of the modern U.S. Navy. Next, here's Kitty Hawk's 148 scale SA-365N Dolphin II. This is the latest of three kits of the helicopter designed by Aerospatial, later built by Eurocopter, and now produced under the Airbus Helicopters banner. More than a thousand have been manufactured and they serve commercial and governmental organizations in a variety of roles, including maritime patrol, sea rescue, and air ambulance. Kitty Hawk's previous releases focused on French Navy SA-365s and Chinese Harbin Z9s, a license build copies of the Eurocopter. This kit covers the upgraded SA-365N with a crowded decal sheet covering seven helicopters from around the globe, including an attractively marked French Navy chopper, Chinese maritime surveillance, 
a U.S. Coast Guard HH-65 based in Los Angeles, Dutch Coast Guard Search and Rescue, Malaysian Coast Guard, Japanese Police, and Taiwanese National Airborne Service Corps. The kit's modular design means there aren't a lot of large fuselage sections, but parts like the belly and boom halves have fine recessed panel lines and rivets. There are optional side panels, vertical tails, and rear doors, but no indication of which one is appropriate for which version. Check your references. Optional noses are also given, but those are visible in the marking diagrams, making the choice easier. Inside, the kit features a floor with molded diamond plate, rear bulkhead, framing, ceiling for the rear cabin, pilot seats, controls, center consoles for the floor and ceiling, and two rows of passenger seats. In service, the interiors differ substantially depending on the role, so modelers will want to check refs and do some scratch building to make it accurate. The shroud and instrument panel are molded together with PE and decals giving dials. Three photo etched metal panels are provided, but only one is called out. Once again, references are invaluable for accuracy. Other PE parts include seat belts and antennas. Posable panels allow for the detailed multi-part engines to be displayed inside the upper cowl. The 11-bladed tail rotor with its supports as well as the tail planes complete the basic airframe. The main rotor blades with sag molded in lock into the center hub with pinned root linkages and then attach to the detailed gearbox. The kit provides a bunch of weapons, but since most of the subjects are law enforcement or rescue choppers, they probably aren't appropriate. And I see parts for the rescue hoist, but it's not mentioned in the instructions. Then clear parts supply the windshield, cabin windows, and the cockpit doors. Plenty of options and details make Kitty Hawk's Dolphin 2 worth a look if you want to build a helicopter. In addition to the colorful markings in the kit, these helicopters wear a variety of colorful livery and service, so you should find something to your liking. The following segment is sponsored by Model Rectifier Corporation, distributors of Academy and Italeri model kits. From the creators of New Product Rundown, it's Scale Auto Car Corner. Welcome to Car Corner. I'm Tim Kidwell, editor of Scale Auto Magazine. And I'm Elizabeth Nash. Let's take a look at Academy's 124th scale Hyundai Santa Fe. So this kit represents the SUV's current body style, which started in 2019's model year. This relatively simple curbside model is molded in color, so it can be built without paint if desired. White plastic parts include a sharply molded body shell with fine recessed door outlines and ridges on the roof. Other body parts molded in white are the hood, front fascia, rear roof extension above the hatch, and the internal front end with radiators. The underside includes well-molded framing and bolts. Mechanical features like the exhaust and drive shaft are molded on, but the vehicle's wheel arch and rocker panel trim is molded with it to make painting easy. Also simplified are the rear and front suspension units. The latter includes movable steering. Molded in black, the interior with its rear seats, center console, and cargo area cover receives sides with door details, two-part front seats, dashboard with decals for the instrument cluster, and separate touchscreen, as well as pedals, steering wheel, and an overhead console. Plated parts provide the wheels, brakes, radiator grill, headlights and front trim, tail lights and rear trim, fog lights, exhaust, door handles and mirrors, and rough rack rails. The soft vinyl tires show good tread without mold seams. A single clear piece supplies the windows and windscreen and includes defroster on the rear window and ceiling details like visors and grab handles. More clear plastic is used for head, fog, and indicator light lenses with clear red used for the tail lights. Decals provide vehicle badging, instruments, and a variety of Korean license plates. The badges and plates are also supplied as stickers. This is a well-engineered kit that should be reasonably easy for anyone to build who's looking to add a modern car to their collection. And you can find a build review of it in an upcoming issue of Scale Auto Magazine. Finally today, we have Zvezda's 135th scale Boomerang. The VPK7829 is an amphibious wheeled infantry fighting vehicle and armored personnel carrier being developed for the Russian Army. The Boomerang is bigger than the BTR family of vehicles it replaces, so the one-piece hull is impressive for its size, as well as the detail molded below the sponsons, including suspension attachments, bolts, and rivets. The rest of the hull includes sides with bolted-on armor, rear plate with door pose closed, lower and upper sloped front plates, fording plate, and hull top with vents and hatches. With no interior detail, the bulk of the kit parts go into the complex suspension, including double wishbone arms, springs and shock absorbers, axles, and wheels that get wrapped in solid but soft vinyl tires. 
Tucked up under the rear are the amphibious vehicle's water jets with separate fans and grills. Towing cleats, maintenance hatches, antennas, brush guards, and the driver's cupola detail the hull. On top is the remotely controlled turret for the 30 millimeter auto cannon and anti-tank missile launchers, as well as sighting and sensing equipment. Clear parts supply lenses for the optics, head and tail lights, and periscopes. Decals and color diagrams give markings for a parade vehicle and one in Russian three-color camo. Self-adhesive mirrors are also provided. Plenty of nicely molded details should make Zvezda's boomerang worth returning to. <laughs> Look for reviews of it, the R35, and Dolphin in upcoming issues of Fine Scale Modeler magazine. And you can find more new products in our great March issue on sale now, as well as online at finescale.com. Which is where you can also purchase the poster behind us, which shows all of the vehicles serving the U.S. military. Go to the shop tab to find it. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Skinner. And we're on the road to nowhere that sandwich the sharply molded road, 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 road reels. Road, 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 road reels. Everything is going road, so road, well. Road, road, road reels. What's that, Skew? The kit represents the suspension with two-part bogies incorporating the rubber springs that sandwich the sharply molded road wheels. Almost, almost. <laughs> got this, I got this. You're getting shorter every time. <laughs> sharply molded, molded. molded. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That sandwich the sharply molded, molded, molded. <laughs> Not touching that again. <laughs>